I'm, I'm not going to do this with you. I'm not. Mr. Brooks, I do want to go over we don't the have, jury instructions. I don't, I don't understand the, the jury instructions. I don't understand anything that's in these proceedings, and I'm not going to participate in, in something that I don't understand. That's your choice, sir. May I please go back into the other courtroom? You can. Based upon your choice and your request, I'll make a finding that he's uh, forfeiting his right to be present in this I didn't forfeit courtroom. anything. I asked. I understand you've so asked, I, I but I feel it's important anything. to also make a finding based upon your conduct. <clears throat> based upon what conduct? Me asking? Are you willing to expressly waive that right on the record right I'm now? Gonna, I'm not going to expressively waive anything. Are you willing to I'm, I'm engage in a colloquy regarding your right to be present I and a not. knowing and intelligent and voluntary waiver of that right? I am not going to consent to anything that I don't understand and I will not answer any questions that I don't understand. I'm merely making a request to not be present in these proceedings. And to be in the other courtroom? Again, as I've stated numerous times now for the record, I will not answer or comply with anything I do not understand. I'm not making a voluntary wavery of anything. Are you willing to be, let me rephrase that. Um, if I have you stay in this courtroom, are you willing to follow the rules of decorum and courtesy? I do not understand the question you are asking. Are you willing to not interrupt the proceedings with disruptive behavior? I do not understand the questions that you are asking. Well, given that he won't answer the questions directly, for now he is to remain in this courtroom. I'm requesting to not be in this courtroom. But you won't go through, you won't answer my questions regarding that, sir. I did. I, I told you I don't understand. That's not answering the question, sir. You asked me a question, I answered it. I don't understand. How can I ask, how can I answer something that I do not understand, Your Honor? All right. Uh, let me start with the jury instruction. You start with, one you I would start like with subject to... matter jurisdiction? No, I've declined that already, sir. I'm not going to address under that what further. Law, under what lawful law? Sir, please do not interrupt me again with the topic of subject matter jurisdiction or um, you run the risk of forfeiting your right to be present in this courtroom. Then let me go into other courtroom then. Are you willing to engage in a discussion about that, sir? I need to make an I appropriate just, record. I just told you that I don't understand the questions you're asking. What do you want me to do? I can't answer something I don't understand. I believe you're choosing not to answer them. You can sir. believe what you want to believe. I, I believe that you hide the stuff from the jury. I believe you won't. You're, you haven't been impartial or fair. You haven't let me even enter anything into evidence, which is my right to do so. Your but it doesn't matter what we believe, sir. Your Honor. I'm, I'm merely stating a request to not be present for these proceedings. I cannot answer. The sir, questions it, you are asking me because I don't understand them. You understand your right to be present in the courtroom. Are you telling me you I don't, don't understand, understand anything? That right? I don't. I do. Nope. I don't understand. Nope. Then you're gonna stay here for now. And under what lawful law? You can't for you can't force me to stay somewhere that I'm making a request not to. You can't you can't make me understand. You can't make me. You can't force me to understand what I don't understand. You can't force that. I need to address one of the jury instructions, number 315. So, Your Honor, I'm trying to make a request to not be present in these matters without disrupting the courtroom, as you say that I do, and over-talking you, as you state that I do. I'm making a request merely to not be present for these proceedings. Obviously, I'm not needed because every decision that's been made here today has been made without my consent. That's clearly telling me that I'm not needed. I have never consented to anything that's going on here today. I haven't even been allowed to present any evidence, which is something that I stated weeks ago. Weeks. You already knew, Your Honor, that I wanted things to present into evidence. I've asked numerous times for that and have been denied. And, and I don't understand why, why I've 
not being able to adequately defend myself. You're, in your words, you're not being allowed to adequately defend yourself based upon your conduct in this courtroom and throughout these proceedings and your unwillingness to follow the simple rules of decorum, courtesy, um, procedure, rules of evidence. You refused to answer a variety of questions this morning when this court went through the, uh, or attempted to go through the colloquy with you regarding your right to testify and your right not to testify. And because of that, and be based on the case law that I cited this morning, I made a finding that you forfeited your right to present further testimony and evidence through other witnesses, and then you forfeited your right to testify in your behalf. I'm not going to revisit those, sir. I'm not asking you to revisit them, but I'm just, they weren't, they weren't correct. I understand you will because disagree I, with I that. never consented to it and I never answered something. I understand and you I did just not stated the reason that. why I didn't answer because I don't understand. You cannot force me to understand what you're asking me. Sir, I could not even get through the advisement. You wouldn't even listen. You talked over me repeatedly. Was that from the other courtroom or in here? Because I've been over there all morning. To the place that you are requesting to go back to, right? You you sent me into the other courtroom. You're right, I did. Right. So I've been over there all morning. With an adequate audio and visual system I connecting mean, the two courtrooms. Your, a functional your, equivalent to your equivalent to your equivalent is adequate. But to mine it's not. Seeing as how you always state Illinois versus Allen. You always state that. You always state that. But it never it never refers to a fourth option that you refer to. It never Mr. refers to I'm not to gonna that. debate this with you. If you continue to bring up subject matter jurisdiction, Illinois. I versus didn't bring Allen, up subject the matter decisions jurisdiction. That I made earlier, I'm trying to figure out why I'm being held in contempt. Frustrating the purposes of this hearing I'm trying to right figure now, out why I'm being held in contempt. To finalize the jury instruction I, and the verdict forms. Your Honor, I'm merely trying to understand why I went you hold me in contempt. I never held you in contempt, sir. You, you attempted to. Nope. You've never attempted to hold me in, in contempt. No, sir. There, I'm again. I'm not going to revisit all of these issues. When I asked you where you hold Are me in you contempt, you said civil. Are you going to respect the decisions that I've made? They're they're not. By they're not, not interrupting. They're me. not correct decisions, Your Honor. I understand that. You'll. I can't answer. You asked me questions. You asked me questions. I didn't answer them based on my understanding. How can you force me to understand what you're asking me if I don't? And then you and then you still make a finding based on that. How how is that lawful law? Mr. Brooks, I stand behind the record that I've made today. And that's fine. I'm not dis I'm and not, I'm advising I'm not you arguing that with you about what you ruled. I'm saying how me. can you do that without my consent? If you continue to raise issues that I've that's, already That's addressed. a violation of my civil rights. If you continue to raise these issues, sir, and thwart the purpose of this court, which is to finalize the jury instruction and the verdict forms, you will forfeit your right to be present in the courtroom, and you will appear from the other courtroom. Okay. Absent, you, I and know you've requested I just, to I be just there. Made a, I made a request for the moment we walked in here to not be present for these proceedings, but yet but still. But you also won't uh, have a dialogue with me about your understanding of what Because it's, my, it's my Fifth Amendment right. I'm exercising my rights that I reserved from the moment we walked in here this morning. You can't for you can't force that. You can't force me. You can't force me to do anything. Actually. No, you're right, but I can make certain findings you, that you forfeit rights you that can't, you have based and, and, upon and your conduct. Based conduct. on what lawful law you're under? I've cited the law this morning. All right, I am Illinois on, versus Allen, right? I am. Then I can on. be present from another courtroom. I if need to I forfeit discuss my instruction right. Instruction three one five. Uh, Your Honor, I don't. I don't the understand. Which needs to be modified based upon the court's earlier ruling. Today. I don't understand. I don't understand the proceedings, and I think that should be stated for the record. If I'm telling you repeatedly, Your Honor, that I don't understand, you can't force me to understand. That's a violation of my of my constitutional rights to try to force something upon me. That's coercion, Your Honor. Um, Mr. Brooks, I completely disagree with your characterization of the proceedings this morning. While it is true that you did not provide consent, you were 
you were entirely uncooperative with court this morning. That's because I didn't understand. I'm explaining why, Your Honor. I'm not. I'm not trying to leave it where it was at. I'm attempting to, to answer the question. I'm attempting to. So I'm to gonna go explain myself of why I did not answer. It was because the the way that you're making it seem is that I intentionally didn't want to answer, and that's Mr. not Brooks, fair. I'm, I'm moving on to instruction 315. Uh, and I'm going to still, I still don't understand, so what, So how can we even proceed Mr. Brooks, if I'm telling do you, you I don't understand? Do you understand what, that I'm asking you to be No, quiet? I don't. No, Mr. I don't. Mr. Brooks, please stop it. And for the record, me. I don't consent to being called that name. You clearly right. hear me, sir, because if you didn't hear me, then you wouldn't make that statement. Hearing so and understanding hear is two different things. I know you can hear me, sir. I'm asking Hearing you and to stop is two interrupting me. I'm not trying to interrupt you, but you're, you're going to, at some point, you're going to ask me my opinion of what's going on. And then when I tell you I don't understand, it's going to be taken as me trying to delay or trying if to do this or trying talking, to do that. I will explain why I'm bringing up instruction 315. And I'm not going to understand your explanation. Well, you can't say that if you haven't heard what I have to say. Didn't you try to do this earlier before lunch? But I need to clarify something because 315, which is the instruction that has the, it's titled, defendant elects not to testify. I had it in there. However, that instruction should really only be given if requested by the defendant. There has been no request made. And obviously this court made a finding that he forfeited his right to testify. Oh. And absent Mr. Brooks requesting that instruction to be in, I believe it would not be proper for this court to include 315 in the instructions to the jury. Does the state have any position on that? Your Honor, I did look at the notes that are associated with instruction 315 and I would agree. All right, Mr. Brooks, do you have any position on whether this court should include instruction 315 uh, in the jury instructions to the jury? I don't even understand what 315 jury instruction is. It's entitled even... Defendant Elects Not to Testify. I'll read it for you. It's, it's my notes, meaning my uh, materials, my um, jury instruction book says to be given only if requested by a defendant, and it reads as follows. This is the actual language of the instruction. A defendant in a criminal case has the absolute constitutional right not to testify the defendant's decision not to testify must not be considered by you in any way and must not influence your verdict in any manner. So my question is, do you want this instruction read or modified in any way? You just said I got a constitutional right not to testify or to testify. I didn't make either one of those decisions, so I don't understand. The what jury instruction asking. is typically read when a defendant does not testify. In every other case that I've had, the decision on whether to testify was a decision made by the defendant personally. In this case, the court found that you forfeited your right to testify based upon your conduct. That is the ruling I made this morning. How, how did I make that decision, though? I didn't, My I didn't question never to you say yes is, or no. I never do you yes want no. the jury instructed that your silence must not be considered by them in any way and must not influence their verdict in any manner. What do you mean my silence, my Fifth Amendment, right? Correct. I, I'm not hearing a request from you to have the jury because given I don't, this instruction. I don't understand why you're asking me the question, Your Honor. I never, I never decided to or not to testify. I, I never decided that, either sir. way. I understand that. So how can I answer that? I, I don't understand why, I don't understand. We are now at the moment where we are discussing whether the jury should receive an instruction specifically on you not testifying, irrespective of the reason for that. I believe I could modify this instruction to simply say uh, a defendant's silence or, or a defendant not testifying should not be considered by the jury in any way and must not influence their verdict in any manner. Are you making such a request for a modified instruction? I don't understand the question because I never decided to or not to testify. I understand. I, I understand what you're saying, sir. I, I really do. It. But in light of the court's decision that you forfeited your right to testify, how did I forfeit something? Do you something want I never the said? jury to be instructed something to the effect of they cannot use your silence, meaning they cannot use you not testifying against you in any way? 
I don't understand because I never made a decision not to or to testify. I'll ask you one more time, and if you do not answer with a yes or no, I will take your answer of not answering as you are not making a request for a modified instruction. How can you do that, Do Your you Honor? want this court, sir, to instruct the jury in any way regarding you not testifying in this case? I don't understand the question. All right, then based upon there has not been an express uh, request made by Mr. Brooks to give either 315 as it's in the um, standard or pattern jury instruction or a modification as this court has suggested 315 is to be taken out of the jury instructions. How are, the, how are all these decisions being made without me understanding? Then I have looked over the verdict forms and other than really what I would describe as some consistency in how phrases uh, whether there's all caps, not all caps, but uh, all caps. what we call the sentence capitalization like the for the charges. Um, for example, I want to be consistent with how I spell out first degree intentional homicide or first degree recklessly endangering safety. There was just some, sometimes it was capitalized, sometimes it wasn't. So we're looking through all of that to be consistent. I want to make sure the word information is capitalized since that's the charging document things of that nature it is my practice and you should be aware mr brooks that i always put the not guilty verdicts on top when i hand all the verdict forms to uh, the jury and by that i mean it's by charge so they're collated if you will so the not guilty <coughs> followed by the guilty for counts one through 76. you said it's collated what do that mean um, so I put the gu not guilty, then the guilty for count one, followed by the not guilty and the guilty for count two, and so on and so forth, all the way through the remainder of the counts that are alleged in this case, which in this case, uh, total 76. I don't understand. So how? how I how? looked at the um, special questions that are that, on Honor? the guilty verdicts only. They did appear to be proper. Again, just some grammatical things, but uh, I believe those are all accurate. Um, can I go to the other to the courtroom? State. Since you don't have to answer any questions, but I have to answer all, can I just go to the other courtroom? Not at this time. Why not? I keep telling you I don't understand these proceedings and you just keep running right over my rights like they like you don't even hear me saying anything. Uh, Attorney Basie, are you handling the verdict forms? Go ahead. Can I go to the other courtroom, please? Are you waiving your right to be present in this courtroom? I'm not waiving anything. Then the answer is no. I'm making a request. Then the answer is no. Then how is it? So, so, so what? You gonna you gonna try to force me to interrupt and do all this so you I'm can make the record you, like and make it seem like I forfeited something that, that I came in here as soon as we got on the record and made a request to not be present for these proceedings. But when I'm making a request to avoid to avoid the drama and all that, sir, the only one with the drama is you. It's you too. You the big contributor to the whole thing, Mr. Brooks. I have to preside over this case. Yeah, and have you haven't been and you haven't been impartial or fair yet, Mr. Brooks. I have a question to the state. I ask that you not interrupt. And that it's, it's not to about me response. interrupting. It's about me attempting to understand. I've been saying that since we came in here, Mr. Brooks. I will. You can't, you I will can't force me to understand to that. You waived your right to counsel. I didn't waive my right to no counsel. I you gave you the contract. Right. I did not. And you won't sit here and, and say that for the record because that is not no, what you happened. you have. You are no. incorrect. So we don't have the, do we have the paperwork? Because I believe that I gave you the paperwork back that you. Mr. Brooks, you very. I gave it to you. Altered. Clearly. And did not waive it. Have been presenting a nuanced argument regarding that, that the right to true, counsel that is versus true. the right to assistance of counsel. That is not true. That's a pretty sophisticated argument. That's why I believe you fully understand what's I going don't. on in this courtroom. I don't fully understand. I disagree with your characterization, I disagree with your characterization. of the right to counsel. 
You know that you accepted you the way that I gave it to the you. Entirety. So you shouldn't have did that if you if you had questions of me not understanding. I don't have any questions whatsoever. You definitely sir. do because I'm telling you right now I don't understand and you still won't even acknowledge the fact that I'm saying in open court on the record that I don't understand something. I haven't waived anything. You made decisions today that I didn't consent to, that I explained I did not answer because I didn't understand which is my right to say that. Right, Mr. Brooks, you it's are also interfering my with the right proper and silent. orderly administration of these proceedings. Um, I understand that you disagree with the decisions that I have made, but you aren't respectful of the decisions. You keep wanting to debate them and argue them. That is not the proper legal recourse at this time. I have asked you if you're willing to waive your right to be present. You indicated you're, you're not. Because and of yet the way you continue you to interrupt. You said wave. I'm not waving anything. Then that's why you're here until I make a finding that you, by your conduct, are forfeiting your right to be present. Well, make the finding and kick me out. Make the finding and hold me in contempt, which is what you're waiting to do anyway. That's why that courtroom is set up the way it has for the whole time. Because at some point it's anticipated that I will be over there. Which is which is not impartial and which is biased is judicial misconduct I stated from the beginning sir that the goals of this trial so you reading from the paper or are you reading for, or are you just citing which number you know? one sir is is during the evidentiary phase of this was to control the presentation of evidence so as to ensure fairness and reliability of the criminal trial process. And I offered that evidence includes that you didn't allow. Developing relevant facts upon which a determination of guilt or innocence can be made. What is sometimes referred to in the case law as the ascertainment of truth. There's an equal but secondary purpose related to efficiency and effectiveness. That has been my repeated use of 90611 uh, is what that would fall under. There's a third goal of everything that I've done here, and that is uh, the courtesy and decorum in this courtroom, what I've sometimes referred to as civility. Of course, there are other goals as well, including protecting your rights, protecting the record, protecting the jurors. How have my rights been protected, Your Honor, if I can't even put evidence into Disagreement with the court I can't even make evidence. decisions, sir. Yeah, but... How can, in I, a, how can in, I defend myself if I can't even present evidence? But, sir, you have not been willing to follow the rules of civility but and decorum. But that doesn't have anything trier. to do with my evidence. It has everything. I could have did that from the other courtroom, too, correct? Sir, you... If I can be present conduct, from the other courtroom, I should be able to present evidence from the other courtroom as well. And you, by your conduct this morning, sir, I'm are not saying, willing to I'm answer saying, the most saying, basic of totality, questions the totality, about whether the you... Totality. Have, have, I not asked to, have I not asked, in fairness, have I not asked to admit evidence? Have I not asked more than once? Mr. Brooks, you have not asked to present any evidence. Yes, I have. You told me we weren't at the evidentiary phase. Manner. How would I know that if, 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 you, didn't, if you didn't ask and you, answer the question? And you, as your own attorney, you proceed at your own peril sometimes. That Whether has you have a full understanding of the rules evidence. of procedure and rules of evidence, or not. And that I has made nothing that to do with me being clear. able to present evidence. So, Mr. Brooks, nothing this I, is nothing your final I warning. have been able to be admitted into I'm evidence. I'm turning to the state for a discussion of the verdict forms. If you interrupt me or them again, then I will make a finding that you forfeited your make right to finding. be present. Make the finding. And you will appear from the neighboring courtroom. You want me to appear from the neighboring courtroom? Just, just, let's just, I don't. Just let me go. Attorney Basie, go ahead. Just let me go. I felt that all the verdict forms looked um, good. I did ask yeah, your clerk. All right, he's interrupted. He's forfeited his right to be here. He's chosen to do that despite the warning from the court. Will be there wasn't no until warning. I, I'm the one that asked. Over so let's, to the let's other courtroom. The and we I'm have the, one the audio when we came in here, your and video working appropriately. I asked, I asked when we came in here Madam to be clerk, present for the to other do court. It by Zoom because we may have to utilize the share screen in order. We don't have to utilize no share screen because I'm not going to participate in no proceedings that I don't understand. The documents. I told you I don't understand. We're a in million times. Until we get the courtroom set up. No, we we don't have to be in recess. I don't agree to it. Uh...